So what is the biggest misconception in uh, email marketing for e-commerce specifically? Well, in my opinion, it's black and white thinking. But uh, let's just be more precise here. Uh, I'm actually going to give you two examples right now. So actually, first of all, let's, uh, you know, as a copywriter, I like to prove things. Let's go to my inbox right here. And uh, I'll show like what I mean by that. So keep in mind, this Gmail account, I have this built, whatever, this Gmail account was created by me, <laughs> specifically for me to opt in for, as you can see, skincare brands. Now, the reason for it, um, the reason I, I did that is because, you know, I'm only working with the within personal care industry and, uh, you know, I run my e email marketing agency that w only work with the e-commerce personal care brands like skincare, hair care, and that's, you know, in this example, uh, I was working with a skincare client and that's like, that's exactly what I do, you know, when I uh, kind of like talk, I mean, again, I'm only in this space, so, you know, as I said, this uh, this account has been created like six months ago, so these emails are just like popping out there. Uh, it is just for me to, you know, kind of like just be updated on, like, on what's happening within the industry, you know, what copy people send, spoiler alert, is bullshit, <laughs> and, you know, kind of like what's happening inside of, inside, inside of the skincare industry, you know, uh, what kind of welcome flows people are like welcoming me with and all that nature. But but the one thing I really want to pay attention to, I want you to pay attention to particularly is the tab over here. It says, uh, first of all, right, we're in a primary, right? The red color means the primary. It indicates that we are, uh, you know, it indicates that these emails are really, really important and they're not really like kind of zealous and like this is the first kind of like the emails that we should pay attention to. But the sad thing is that that's it. <laughs> I can't even scroll through the pages. Now, if we go to a promotional folder, shit gets a little worse here because, uh, you know, if my math is not like wrong here, uh, if we divide really 31 into 150, and I scored like 690 on the on the SAT. Um, it was an official test though. But like, I mean, I still can't, I can still divide it, but like it's probably like something around like a five x five x, really. So five times more emails in the promotion folder than in a primary folder. And again, keep in mind I've only opted in for skincare brands primarily. Cap, there's a Kyle. Actually, no, Kyla Cosmetics. I thought it was a Kyla writer. Anyway, um, primarily skin, uh, skincare brands, right? So laundry, U Beauty, maybe Shopify was like kind of like maybe uh, something, you know, related to, uh, as, you know, I have a clavier pulled up here, so I needed to kind of show you, in, which I'm going to show you in, in, in a minute. But like, you see that, like, you know, OS Skin, uh, Dr. Uh, Jard, uh, Cashmere Collection, Crafty Counter, Kyla Cosmetics, right? These are all the brands within. Uh, skincare space and as you can see that they send this uh, good copy emails which are just just screaming guys we belong in the promotional folder please do not even dare put us in a primary by the way that's the gmail account that's the just the that's the gmail can close an eye on uh you know on this gonna kind of type of emails and put you in a uh, in a promotional with yahoo and outlook these like they don't they don't con they don't negotiate anything they're gonna put you in spam or they not even gonna put put your email through like literally just gonna put you in spam that's the best case scenario the worst case scenario they don't even deliver your email that's the reality of those uh not very popular service providers like uh, outlook like yahoo maybe bang email kind of that thing gmail is like the most popular one it can kind of afford that thing for it but anyway, you see the problem, right? You see the problem. We have a uh, thirty-one brands. Again, not a very, not all of them are um, in skincare, which is even worse because it's even less skincare brands in the primary folder because most of them just land in promotional. And the reason is, by the way, the reason is, is because most of these emails look. I don't know. Just opt in for like a U beauty. I don't know. Looks like this. So, if you ever go to Walmart really you might notice this guy who's like passing out flyers and you're just you know, trying to ditch this guy kind of like you know calculating some trajectory to you know evade that uh the loss when the guy like just handing you like freaking flyer 
but then your math is wrong and like he's like really like moving to your towards your direction and then with a fake smile on your face you take that flyer that silk silk piece of paper and you go and like guess what we're gonna do after that you throw it away subconsciously because you literally identified that bad experience abominable event as that like Nah, it was a cold approach, right? It was a, it was like marketing flyer. And guess what you're gonna do with that? You're gonna throw it away subconsciously because you don't even read that shit. And that's uh, that's what this brand uh, email is, for example, like you beauty. Do you really think that this email can drive more revenue than a good written copy email? I'm not saying plain text, but you just we, 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 we're gonna take we're gonna get into this in a minute in terms of you know how to um you know still make a costume written and being delivered in a primary folder but for now uh if you if your email marketing looks something uh similar like this um similar like something similar or something like this where you put text on the image which increases the density of the image uh, duh right which uh automatically by the way i'm a hundred percent puts you in a promo uh, in a promo folder like hundred percent like a hundred percent there are some very density uh density emails that put in here for example 54 thrones i don't like it's you know uh on the day third before the they because they put too many images there that's why they hit that that's why they hit spam that's why they hit spam i'm sorry guys i'm sorry but that's the current reality of uh skincare email uh email marketing that's why I basically got into this space in the first place but anyway Besides the point, let's go back to this base, biggest misconception. So there are two types of uh, mar mar marketers or copywriters, like whatever they call them uh, themselves. So the first one is I call it like an Upwork kind of way where these guys, and I'm not shitting on Upwork, these guys know their shit, but they don't understand like one, they, they just missed one thing. It's called being adaptable. Be being able to adapt to the current landscape, right? They put this 60 word headlines in a red font with a 50 freaking um, pages sales letters and the email where, you know, just like, like literally shitting on the fact that attention span has dropped to six seconds. They're gonna think that people are gonna take two and a half hours of their time to open up, to open up your email and just gonna read it like for two and a half hours. And then, at the end of the uh, you know at the end like just gonna buy it right because ah you know fuck fuck segmentation uh like we we, we don't care who we're sending to VIP list engage customers we we don't understand the quadrants we don't understand the six stages segmentation like any of that shit that is like like literally not even advanced it's like essential they're shitting on it they're treating basically everybody as like this like a one perfect client avatar and uh, this like a sales letter approach works like this they put objections they put like the the the, the they call in like a demographics the psychographics of your customers and they put in the one, one email and like we're gonna speak to the whole list to the whole list right it's a, it's called almost like an outbound approach where uh you marketing to your whole list where you gotta think that it's it's not it's 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 an email marketing it's like it's dynamic it's dynamic. It's not an info bullshit. It's not a sales letter. It's a, it's dynamic. It's not to mention you e-commerce, let alone using things like Clavio. It's like it's mind-boggling like that, that that they're doing on this uh, sales letter approach. So that's the one type of like uh, misconception that I can put here. The next one is uh, as we saw, absolutely they can understand some uh, engagement, thirty-day uh, open or clicked 60 day uh, engaged 90 day engaged VIP um, unengaged maybe some like a you know somebody who is interested in a particular collection in Tripify you can do that you know within the Clavio I'll again you can watch my uh, other videos it's just not that important it's all technicality here uh, but they they do emails like this it's just a beautiful design just to put freaking text on the page Canva like bullshit guys these emails look like as I said flyer marketing this shit, like just you can find it on the ground sometimes, or in a trash can. Mo most of the time, it's, it's in a trash can. As we, like I'm not capping right now. You know that for a fact. 
these emails don't sell. I mean, they sell, but like you're gonna make like maybe 12% of your revenue, uh, of your whole source revenue from these emails in the best case scenario, right? Where you could have just be smarter a little bit or watch this video and make 30, 45, God, 50, even 50, as much as 50% of your revenue from Clubview, I'll bet you that. But they still make this uh, stupid mistakes of putting this like uh, imagery emails, uh, and you know, in just like literally spamming people and then like, competing in that promo folder where it's cluttered. It's just, man, it's like dust accumulated in our promo folder. You've seen that it's a it's a five times danced freaking mosquito. It's a five times uh, more emails in the promo folder than in primary folder. Skincare brands only. Just want to remind you that. And so they put this kind of chunky emails, uh, they're not that big, but they're they, they're extreme, they're extremely short. They don't speak to anybody. Like this is trying to speak to everybody, this speaks to nobody. So like people too black and white, either we speak to everybody or we just send bullshit, you know, just for the chuck off, you know, mm, email marketing. We do email marketing, that's it. That's like what most brands do right now. Now, of course, uh, I'm not gonna be this cocky dude who is gonna be like just, you know, shooting this video, I'm talking about oh everybody's an idiot and I'm so cool driving in this island canvas. Of course, <laughs> um, we're gonna pull out Clevio and I first of all gonna switch. Uh don't wanna unplug my alright, so this is the tablet I was drawing here. Now I'm gonna plug in my mouse. Oh my god, I thought my microphone doesn't work. <laughs> Hopefully it does. Uh, and we're gonna take a look at the simple floats for emails. Uh, I usually, you know, if that was like a real brand, that's not a real brand. That's like the kind of brand that I've created specifically for this video, uh, which I take fresh.com as an example. All right, so let's just pull their site and uh, it'll make sense to you in a minute. But basically what I did is I take their, um, take their product and kind of make uh, like a, this, like a drafty, flow not real it is not real it's not live or anything like that it's only like uh, you know uh, exclusive for the for the viewers of this video but anyway um, if i were doing for this for the real brand of course this this flow would be longer but you know i don't want to bore you with like with the whole details and i don't want you know don't want to make this video like a two hours long because people don't really like just they're just gonna drop and then you know it's just gonna decrease the uh reach for my videos but uh anyway i hope you get but, but but don't worry we'll still get the gist of this video uh and if you don't just put in the comments and uh i'm gonna shoot the part two if you want to but the first thing uh when we do and this is by the way the welcome flow the first thing that we do for welcome flows any welcome flows is that we uh need to make sure that they place orders zero times starting this flow right we do not want to create this like a freaking spiders kind of you know marketing bullshit that the most brands do right like it's like all clutter all messy in the account they forget this feature in the clavio that basically can filter out flow so basically we want to include everybody who places order zero times since starting this flow so if they place an order they basically get drawn out out of this flow into different flows right the post purchase thank you flows confirmation emails all that good stuff but for here we're only marketing to people who are uh, just prospects, right? They're not customers, and there's a big difference. Now, I wanna also duplicate it one, I don't know why I like even pin it, but there is just only one little step that I wanna also kinda show you here, and this one is, um, so this is the this is the website, the fresh, so we're gonna be basically, uh, what's the word? Emulating that, uh, gonna, product from we're gonna be stealing that product from not really stealing hope hopefully fresh is not gonna sue me for that but yeah so one little step i also wanted to show you here is that um we are even created specific sign up form for this particular product because one thing that i found for you know working with um skincare brands is that um most of them suck even at facebook ads and here's the thing I myself, right, I run my email marketing agency, but even I understand that just focusing on email marketing, like my, like, all right, I'm just gonna put it that way. Me being, 
me focusing only on email marketing as an email marketing agency is being too selfish and too cocky and too like stubborn and even unaware of the market and basically e-commerce as a space and a media and uh the reason is because e-commerce is a really dynamic game like you 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 cannot miss anything here like if you suck on emails uh, on a facebook ads if facebook ads marketing like if facebook ads are marketing wrong products in your landing page or if you don't have one your website doesn't convert email marketing is not gonna work and I like, it could be even the greatest one or it could be the worst one if I'm gonna come if I don't see like a uh, good presence with Facebook ads what I do is I help my you know my clients to kind of you know get their get their game really on with Facebook ads first or if you do YouTube ads snapchat like whatever it is like whatever your foreign end uh, funnel is we need to fix that first because if that's broken this whole system the 360 kind of approach it's just not gonna work right no email marketing is gonna work without you know prior steps to it right if you have a great uh, paid advertising you have a great email marketing but if you have like a really terrible website or you don't have a, like a product page that doesn't explain your product at all and people just don't even understand what they're buying email market is not gonna work Facebook is not gonna work I mean they're gonna work but your CPM is gonna be like freaking high as fucking Tra Travis Scott but besides the point uh, you need all of them kind of like uh, executed out all the three steps the offer the page where you sell the offer and then uh, the email marketing that kind of scrub the people up that you know want discount or they have some objections in uh, you know all of that or they just bought it they kind of didn't check you out you know for their email uh, but uh, you know we started sending them you know those confirmation emails thank you flows and you know kind of like just trying to the, uh, to put them into that VIP status by the way which is the ultimate goal of email, of email marketing anyway and your brand as itself which brings us to the uh, my I don't want to call it like proprietary method I'm not a guru I'm not a Ty Lopez but uh, this is like what I call it it's called dynamic copywriting right so if you know anything about copy you know, you tend to like think of this as like you this like a weird marketing research, you like researching for like two months. That's for the sales letter, right? That's like uh, when you're trying to please everybody there. When you like know your customer and this sales letter is gonna, you know, cold from to sold, right? It's called cold uh, to sold. Here, it's more of like an awareness game. It's more of um, understanding where they at and meeting them where they at, right? It's understanding their habits. It's understanding. It's about understanding, understanding their habits, and understanding their uh, awareness, understanding their problems, and segmenting people, and those different uh, campaigns, d different like um, I'm not gonna say diff basically different segments, right? So if we send, for example, right, I work with skincare brands. We segment by skin by skin type. We segment by um, maybe some specific problems like. Um, sensitive skin which is not a skin type it's just the, like the way you have a problem about your skin maybe you have acne maybe you have breakouts maybe you have dark spots maybe you don't understand what the fuck to do with the sunscreens maybe you, you don't know uh, what to choose uh what kind of exfoliation to choose right physical or uh, chemical you don't know the lactic acid or you know any other like density of the acid used for chemical exfoliation you, you might not understand that and that's where email marketing comes in handy but when you know um those people who really have this problem like when you know that these people particular people want to know want to hear about this particular problem you create a segment and you create a particular email specifically for this segment and that's how you drive the personalization of it which drives the rpr which is revenue per recipient which is your money how much you're making per one subscriber on your list and that's the ultimate goal, right? We want to make as much money off of your list. And the only way to do it is by using dynamic copywriting. So I hope I sold this idea really, really good. So the first step that we need to take here is um, speaking about, let's just take, I don't know, Facebook ads as the example here of a paid media and a foreign funnel. They need to opt it in for a juicy offer. So on the Facebook ads, you need to be running a juicy offer. You you're not running moisturize. You're not running, uh, fucking sunscreen on a white background. That shit's gonna like really unpop your CPM, and you gotta go, really really go uh deep, 
into the uh, competition because most of the brands are gonna destroy you. That's what they do. If you just put moisturizers on white background, just like no, you're gonna go out of business soon. You need a concise, juicy offer. And the best way to do it in a skincare or hair care, or whatever, personal care related, because uh, I can only speak for this industry, is bundle things. Please, just get that bundle. People do not wanna, you know, there's there's a bias. It's called fucking middle class bias. People do not wanna think. They don't wanna take their time to figure out, okay, cleanser, moisturizer, uh, exfoliator, sunscreen. Which one should I choose? How should I choose it? Which one is first? Oh my god, there's a fucking patches and like some lip scrubs. Like, what, what, what the hell is that? I'm like, dude, take away that cognitive thinking of them. Just bundle things, say that's package for you. Uh, we've worked with dermatologists. Here's the proof. Buy it right now. Here's a little discount. Let's do it. Works like clock. So, uh, speaking of that, I'm, I wanted to show you an example right now. So, uh, here I took the. So, this is the first email that we have here. And uh, again, I want to explain. I want to explain it a little bit better if it if this shit's gonna load right now but it seems like it's just not loading so give me a sec all right so it's loading uh oh my god no 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 i want to find this uh just give me a second one okay so here this is the set that we're basically advertising on now i want to really uh find it preview this email let's preview this a little bit just, i just want to get that link so this is the basically the uh let's just close that their website this is the uh offer that we are marketing towards our audience currently right so again this is was taken from fresh.com this is just a bundle of the four as i said right of the four things so it includes um it includes soy makeup uh basically like a face wash or like a cleanser there's a deep hydration which is a exfoliator your oil uh, infus serum and some uh, uh also like an info serum just to kind of amp up that you know you know if, you, if you're in the skincare space you would understand you know this thing kind of like amp up the uh efficiency of this oil and it kind of like you know works as the like a slippery slope um this machine right so you basically apply everything one at a, once at a time and that works like in that synergy creates that perfect effect of uh moisturizer you know keeping that water uh inside of your skin you know it prevents that water loss so that's that's our offer right now the greatest thing the greatest thing about club is that what you can do is you can even personalize the specific um offer as a pop-up on that specific page and the way you do this is you go to targeting behavior and in clavio right i mean if you choose a desktop uh and you choose a mobile right it's still it'll optimized i feel like yeah as you see on mobile it's optimized on desktops uh, optimized as well and so the way you do this is you go here and exactly matching and you basically put the URL of this particular page. And when you put the uh, URL of this particular page into the pop-up here and, you know, kind of like a checking off uh, this box here is basically tickling this box, only showing certain URLs, your prospects when uh, being kind of like redirected from Facebook or any other media that you're advertising this product on, will be uh sorry i'm a little exposed here will be sent automatically to this page and as uh this pop-up specifically tied to this specific url they're gonna get that pop-up which is extremely personalized because you already know where this pop-up is gonna pop up right and uh one thing that i always preach uh, uh at coyotes which is my agency is we need to really dial in congruency here from the facebook ads I want to see this image right here on the pop-up face uh i want to see this exact image right here because they do not guys listen i understand you have a lot of creatives on uh you know on your hands people do not have that attention span they forget shit. they have a TikTok notifications they have email notifications they have they're not like entrepreneurs like like we are right they don't have like two separate phones with the you know there's a one phone before like 8 p.m other phone after uh, 8 p.m 
they have one phone they get a lot of notifications freaking i messages all that good shit right or bad shit or good shit for them they get like literally drown their attention everywhere so they, they're not gonna even remember that you're marketing to them so you need to be congruent and the way you do this is just to put the same image in front of them maybe a little bit you might deviate from that but not too much so that they kind of like don't lose their uh turn of thoughts there so they get the pop-up they basically copying in for the welcome flow now on the welcome side uh if we go to let's just yeah let's just go to clavier right here and uh just to kind of like show you a little bit more in detail so let's actually unpin i don't know i'm not sure why it's been um if we go right now right here you see that the um the the list right and the list by the way so i'm not sure where, where it says the list um it's opted in for i'm not sure where it says the where it shows the list uh let me check it up right here so if we go to sign up forms you see that i've created a specific list right so you see the pop-up pop-up form and we named the specific list that people opted in for as the pop-up so that we understand um uh, uh what like basically we, when we're creating that flow we already know what list to choose so that it's ex like it's that it's exactly that um list that's opting in for this exactly pop up and we create basically a specific welcome flow uh for everybody basically who uh you know opting in for that list and i know it's like a little bit complicated even i got a little tripped up here but you know as you can see right here uh we only include people who opt in for rose fresh kit so this is exact list that um being triggered when whenever they you know opt in for that specific pop up here now of course, as I said, right, we need to exclude those people um, and whenever they buy. So if they bought already, we want to draw them out, out of this flow into the post purchase. But for those who are, you know, prospects, right, or those who haven't bought this particular kit, we want to keep emailing them uh, the emails. And the way you look like is uh, I'm going to show you in a minute right now. So the first email, really important here. We do not want to hit promo uh, promotional folder. The way you hit from primary folder is first of all, of course, you kind of like nail your deliverability and um, keeping a good healthy score in relationship with your ISP. Basically, don't send too many uh, sales emails. Don't get too into uh, too many times in promotion folder. And the way you do this usually is by sending a plain text emails as a first email. Now, this email can go to promotional folder if you have a terrible relationship with a uh, uh, Gmail. And the way you kind of make those relationships works is worse is you go to promo folder too often times and if you go to uh, promo folders too often times uh you need a really good um you know there's a there's a certain like a process that we go through in our agency to kind of like a what's the word um revive your list to kind of get it into the primary again and, you know there's a certain like processes involved but it's it's a little bit complicated i'm not gonna get into that but let's just assume that you know uh you are right now in uh some you know in some somewhat good relationship with the gmail now, I'm not saying that, you know, uh, if you just hit promo all the time, you have no chances. As I said, there is a certain pattern that 100% going to give you in a primary folder. Uh, it's called, like, you know, account warm up or like we call it like a reviving warm up. Uh, but this is, you know, something that I'm going to like make a video later down the line. But for this video, uh, again, let's just say that uh, you're a brand, you have somewhat good relationship with the, with the Gmail. But you still hit like promo folder uh, often than often than not, right? And so the, your best bet, your best like next strategy would be creating this like a tab, plain text email, which really lands uh, in primer because it's not very densey. It's been written like by a real human, and you know it sounds real to the uh, kind of like a, G, a Gmail alg algorithms. And so the way it looks like, you know, of course you can you know put the put the put this video in the pause and you can read it, but. Uh, generally, what you want to do here is, you know, kind of like read them. Uh, it's Daniel Rooching out, co-founder uh, here at Fresh. I mean, I'm not co-founder Fresh again. I'm just making it up right now. I wanted to thank you personally for showing up and uh, for showing an interest uh, for the Fresh Rose Kid. You saw on our website, put a link here on the Fresh Kid. Again, making that congruency here. We need to kind of acknowledge the fact that they actually opted in for that specific, specific uh, pop-up there. Me and Alex, again, making it up. I don't know who the hell Alex is. My business partner, 
Oh, it's my business partner. Uh, spent four months in a lab testing and developing in this kit, and guess what? It's probably our second best launch ever. I, I don't know why, it would, like, literally take me five seconds to write this copy, but it still sounds like way better than uh, that you beauty that we just saw <laughs> a couple couple mom, uh, moments ago, or like what, 10 minutes ago? Jesus, 30 minutes already. I gotta hurry up a little bit. You can check our Amazon reviews here, so we kinda like give that social proof there, and now, we don't typically give out any discounts for new launches. Kind of get that exclusivity there, right? And like a little scarcity there. I call it exclusivity. Expect something huge like this happens. So let you, so to let you know, we're offering 10% off your first purchase uh, of your purchase right now uh, with the following code, you know, and we're gonna like email call. So basically this email is almost like written by the founder. I know people know that it's, it's still written uh, automatically, but they still assume some shit. Like I've seen people like replying to these emails, like literally, I'm not, I'm not capping right now. So this is a good uh, like place to start. Typically wait one day, and if it's a Black Friday, you do not want to date, you do not want to wait. <laughs> uh, but typically, you know, if it's a kind of like a normal times, typically one day is gonna be enough for them to, you know, uh, kind of like, you know, like, I, I don't know, man, come on. <laughs> you can email, like, I mean, uh, every every brand is different, but uh, for them, you know, just kind of like reprogram their mind a little bit, kind of uh, rejuvenate from 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 the emails. That's typically uh, the best the best like kind of cadence that I found, like just like one day. But again, as I said, there's nothing black and white. You gotta test this for your brand specifically. Now, if we go to this email right here, um, we have this like note from the founder, and notice how this email is created and uh, designed. So. Yeah, now Clevis thinks that I'm a, I'm a robot here. Hopefully it doesn't, will ask me for, it'll not ask me for the confirmation. Okay, perfect. So notice how this email is uh, designed. So it's still plain text, but guess, you know, you'll, you'll still see uh, the attribution of HTML here. So as you can see, this email is pretty short. It has a lot of uh, call to actions here. And it's really punchy. It's like it's it's a, it's a it's a written email. It's still good designed, but it's not imagery bullshit. Okay, it doesn't like look like a freaking spammy trash. This is actually something that people can read. And even if you you know if you have that like um uh, a relationship with your list, right? Uh, which, call, which only can be created through copy. You can even ask them because you know right now you're 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 Daniel, right? You are a founder. You're not a, like a you beauty writing you. No, it's Daniel from Fresh or from you beauty is writing you. It's that it's a real human, and the send from name by the way is also pretty important, and the subject client is pretty important, right? Because you want to you want to be a real human. You don't want to be a brand writing, right? You want to be a human writing. So. <laughs> I probably should have called this uh, video like a human write. How do human write your emails? So again, I'm not gonna read this email uh, for you because it's like a little bit long. But the main point I'm trying to get here is that um, from this email particularly is that whenever you write copy, you have a more leverage uh, with people. You can ask them for whatever. You can um, ask them for service. You can uh, even like kind of what's the word? <sighs> You can get them to reply to your emails, like literally uh, advocate them to reply to your emails for some simple reason. Like, I mean, I wanna know if this email hit your inbox or hey, can you put us into primary? You have more leverage with your list because you're an actual person that can, you know, you can even ask people some shit and they're gonna give it to you, right? They're gonna give it, they're gonna do it for you. So as I said here, right, you basically wanna give them a discount uh, and the congruency side, Again, as I said, congruency is the most important one. You want to be congruent, so the same, not the same image quite, but uh, similar, similar, right? It's like more unpackaged and packaged, uh, you know, image right here, again, for that congruency side. And most importantly, right, uh, it's really also, as you can see, uh, mobile optimized. It's a little bit longer to read on, on the, uh, you know, on the phone maybe, right? I mean, in terms of like scrolling. But that's why I uh, also want you know, to attention, I want you to pay attention to it right now. As you can see, there's buttons on every 
within the every scroll real estate if that makes sense right so whenever they scroll they always can click you know the button of a click within the reach all the time right so if they scroll right here boom the button gone there's a new button here click here and then they scroll this one and then this button within the reach maybe like not within the reach but again it's not actually the uh real size of the email you know uh if you send it to, to the phone it's gonna look a little bit different because you know it's still not very accurate in terms of the you know proportions uh, and uh you know dimensions but anyway besides the point right on every scroll you want to have a, a button and call to action because guess what if you even study your emails uh you know on this um there are a lot of like service providers like service providers jesus apps like you know orange websites or like what are like whatever they call basically like analytics just to kind of like see um where what is your click through rates particularly like on which button people click uh the most and the least clicking you'll find is the button uh on the bottom and most brands in skincare because i can you know as i said i can also speak for skincare they put they basically bear their buttons at the bottom of the email and people don't even click because they don't they don't even scroll most of the clicks they get here and it's been proven like literally by just turn like right now go to your um you know download like any uh third party apps that like kind of you know hot jar or whatever that kind of tracks your um behavior uh of the email market even clive can do that watch your click-through rate on buttons you'll find that the first button usually has the highest click-through rate because people don't scroll to the bottom and so for you to basically for you to put the bot uh to the button at the bottom of the pay uh, of the email is a dead uh is a dead end approach because people are they're just not gonna click they're not gonna scroll to the bottom you're gonna like read a couple words and then they gotta decide right away whether they want to buy it or not they just they just not do it so don't be stupid put a call to action on every scroll uh, within every scroll uh, of the email that's how you make sure that people are always being able to take actions and uh, buy your products I shouldn't been clicking that but anyway uh, so I'm gonna set done and we're gonna move up to the uh, third email so you see the first two emails they were like kind of like a more from like a send from the founder or like you have a score again the first email is gonna be the most generated or even generated so you you know you, you do not want to like you know make them thinking or drifting or choosing or reading anything you want to hit them just with basically with the promo code really send them that first email out send them like back to the website and you, you know kind of complete that purchase that's it on the first on the, on the second email you can already go and kind of handle some objections kind of show that authority social proof kind of story kind of bind with them a little bit just tell that you're a real human there now and the third email and guess again just want to remind you that um sorry they will be driving out, out of the slow whenever once they buy they'll basically get driving out out of the slow automatically and so if they don't buy from uh these two emails they'll automatically get sent this email uh in one day as you can see right and this email you know i've created this uh specifically for kind of like you know hit more on again i don't know i haven't done the um kind of research for fresh and i haven't studied its audience but basically what i did for this email as you can see is that i kind of you know i kind of like hit more on what's the in uh basically inside the inbox right sometimes people just don't even understand what these products do and kind of like how how this whole thing works basically i explain the whole mechanism of this package you know again you can pause you can uh read this email through and again, the same pattern applies uh, call to action on each scroll within the email. And as you can see here, right, we have um, basically email explaining what each product does for uh, for for each cost, right? So as again, you know, as I said, right, just just put on pause, um, check this email out. It's also, by the way, uh, mobile optimized. And it's really like done this copy by the way it's really written by me i'm like i'm totally like just you know put on pause just like i'm not gonna read it i'm just actually a little hurt because i was spending like my time to reading this copy just kind of like taking the time out of my day but yeah um kind of explain everything what's uh being inside uh of this kit right so i explain basically each product here and uh that's what it looks by the way on mobile you see still all the buttons within the reach 
within the scroll reach, just people can take their action and you know kind of complete that purchase if they are, are intended to do so. Now, the last email again for this particular video, right? Because I would never do that uh, with a client account because you know you usually want to send more emails with the welcome flow because you know people uh, uh, want to know a little bit more. You know, I'm not a big fan of like three uh, welcome, you know, three three emails on welcome flow and I'm done. Like, dude, you're gonna lose a lot of money. Trust me. There's so much opportunity in a welcome flow. Like, this is the most revenue generated flow ever. It beats any other flows five times. Forget about your card abandonment flow. That's, that's that that shit doesn't matter. Come on. This email really hits the point. People really, really want to know um, what you're about, and uh, you know, you basically gonna be like hitting their objections hitting everything and if you really know if you really done your marketing research like we do we do for example right five stage research really good you know who your customer is that's it all you do is you marketing towards them and then you segment them into different problems and then boom you basically have like you know people getting a slightly different emails again still we understand the customers overall but they're different types of people still within within the list and uh, we also like don't 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 want to be stupid and like kind of be like ungrateful for tools like Clavio and not utilizing this a uh, perfect uh, things like segmentation. So the last email is the uh, kind of like you know more like a visual one, right? So again, we want to remind them, hey, this is the this is the box. Hit them with a personalized copy. Put them, uh, you know, give them a call to action. Give them a couple, uh, you know, reviews from the side. Basically, that was actually taken from Fresh. Uh, reviews uh, over here. This particular kit doesn't have reviews, but if you go to, for example, like you know, this moisturizer, I don't want to add this to back. If you go to this one, again, I don't know why kits don't have any reviews. Maybe because they're new, or maybe because this is something wrong with their site, but usually they have like a lot of reviews. That's, you know, it's kind of weird. But, uh, you know, Jesus, if we go to, uh, did I break something? Anyway, if we go to there, you know, you already saw that like there's like 4,000 reviews on, on some products. There are a lot of reviews. And this is the best place to kind of like, you know, understand uh, what your customer really wants and what they appreciate in your brand and in your product specifically. And you know, you can even like put some great ones uh, and put it in, a, in the email, right? Of course, don't give all the five stars all the time. Here I gave four, uh, just gonna be like, be that real. And you know, remind them about the coupon and then give them like kind of you know some, some things here you know check out our unbox video so this is the visual one this is like what i like the strategy basically giving people kind of like a visionary uh like at least like a three-dimensional video so like unboxing the products people love this thing like whenever they like buy something or they want to buy something they always go on youtube uh, to watch unboxing it works like with the playstation like trust me like w if you ever bought a playstation i bet you you like watched millions of like uh, unboxing reviews uh unboxing videos uh of playstation 4 or 5 or you know whatever you uh whatever ge generation you, you come from actually so one million follow one million followers on instagram right you want to like just basically scream that that you know i'm authority people trust me right so there's a social proof here Check out our, you know, others, uh, you know, 1,768 reviews from the existing customers here, right? Boom, social proof. So, you know, this email is really, it's a, it's a more of like a social proof kind of game. And in terms of the subject lines, right? Um, I put tomorrow because again, it's, it looks, it sounds really personal, right? Tomorrow. How about that? Tomorrow. Do you think people are going to open it? <laughs> tomorrow. Send from Daniel, D Daniel from Fratch, Daniel at carries.com. Tomorrow. What? I hope you will be sending this by tomorrow. And I'm like, what is tomorrow? And so they're gonna open this email, right? See, it's really like looks even real to the uh, Gmail providers. And I know what I'm talking about, trust me. And so tomorrow, a quick note, your 10% code will be lost starting tomorrow. I didn't lie, right? <laughs> you, you're not bullshitting people. I'm not bull bullshitting anybody. Your coupon is, you know, is ending. Uh, tomorrow night, so tomorrow it's gonna be lost or expired. And the reason I didn't word is I didn't use the word expired is because, uh, you know, we don't want to like really hit that promotional folder because again, the word expires, the word like sale, it still increases that likability to hit that promo folder. 
uh, but there again, there's always time and place to use it. You can use it, but as I said, it's all about your relationship with your Gmail. And if you hit promo, um, if you hit primary folder uh, more often than you hit promo folder, you can pretty like be sure that you have a pretty good relationship with Gmail, and you can send some uh, emails like you know with a, with a sale or, or something like that. For example, you know, in primary here, we can even see, um, so bubble, I mean, bubble pop up there. I, I know that, for example, the UDI has a good relationship with uh, Gmail because most of their emails really will like land in primary, even though it has like, it's like an ugly kind of like, not very optimized, I mean, the emails, I, I mean, I don't know why, where it is. It sounds like a promo email anyway. So, this is kind of like what uh, you know, buying like nothing else. Know from the founder, we score like you were scored a, you were scored a code. That's kind of subject lines that I, uh, I think, in my opinion, would work for this uh, particular flow, like a fake flow, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, that's kind of what, like the email marketing that I'm trying to sell you on, right? That's the thing. And again, this is just the uh, the gist the gist of it. Their whole like. Um, there are a lot more, trust me, they're like a lot more. There's a whole freaking pre-purchase flows, there, there are post-purchase flows, there are advanced flows for, for your brand specifically, right? And if you need those, right, uh, you can of course, you know, um, uh, reach out, you know, go to link down below and uh, schedule a call uh, with me, right? As a, as a founder of Coyotes, we do email marketing for skincare brands only, so I assume you're in a personal care kind of space, uh, because you know, I mean, you wouldn't be watching this uh, if you weren't, right? So, if you need any help with uh, email marketing, on a, you know, we, we, like, we don't sell packages. Like we do the whole marketing, uh, pretty much, right? We'll cover your whole uh, club account, trying to get the most revenue out of that and uh, increases your attention and um, basically the the goal of email marketing. Uh, anyway, so speaking of which, buyers right they took action uh on the way to explore more right that's basically our goal for email marketing to get the buyers and the ultimate goal of email marketing is to get the vips and the vips are people who the most recent they're the most frequent and they're um they basically buy like a little like whenever they say we use an email whether it's campaign or a flow or you know Anything that you want them to buy, they're gonna do it. You know why? Because they're all on your brand. Now, not all of your subscribers are gonna be on a VIP list because you know people sometimes uh, get a little busy or something happens or they just you know kind of got switched from the other brand that do even better copy. That I can't, can't even imagine that <laughs> that's happening. Um, if you unless you work with Coyotes, but anyway. There's just the the, the process uh, that uh, you need to follow uh, from this from the from the from the start to finish. I'm already starting a little bit, guys. I'm like a little tired right now, <laughs> as you can see. So they just opt in uh, frame map. As I said, a juicy offer. Why I recommend offering some sort of a co uh, kit set bundle. You know, it takes away uh, that cognitive process. Like they don't have to like think or choose or, you know, uh, when I was like taking SAT, there was this like. Um, when I was like in the reading writing section, there was this like little, uh, little study that they done. I mean, it, it was like literally on the SAT test. And like I'm reading, like, hey, there's been study done that people that are buying like jams, um, in the store were giving like two jams with a discount. It was like a apricot or and uh and a and a premium one, and so people could choose between them, and uh, they were buying uh one or the other. And so people thought, okay, so if we're gonna get, offer them eight jars of jam, the conversion is gonna skyrocket. But guess what? That that's how this formula works. The more options you give to your customers, the more your conversion splits in half. Literally, when you remember that, just get that. It was like from Russell Brunson, by the way. Whenever you try to get uh, try to sell two products at the same time, your conversion doesn't double x; it splits in half. Just remember that because people do not like they they just they're they're super bad at choosing. And so what happened with those eight jars is people ended up not buying 
jack shit. Like, they literally didn't buy anything because they were so in the analysis paralysis kind of thinking. So they just kind of like, all right, I don't know what to buy. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> That's like what happens with uh, um, with most brands that like trying to sell you this or like follow this link. Oh, first email. Hey, you, you're going to follow us on Twitter. You're going to follow us on Instagram. You're going to follow us on TikTok. By the way, also check out our reviews. Oh, by the way, check out uh, this video. And by the way, follow this article. And by the way, also buy the product or in this product. And also we have like a fucking thousand products. And so you're all going to buy it. Like, what? Wait a second. I'm not gonna read this email. That's so stupid. That's too ambiguous thing of a of a, of a sale. Now the second thing, right? So the first thing, juicy offer. We only focus on one thing and really want to like drive that uh, AOV. And the only drive, the only way you drive AOV is by offering only one thing and set. Because guess what? Sets are more expensive because they're bundled. They're uh, less cognitive. They take less cognitive thinking and they're just perfect, uh, like a foot in the door offers for your cold audience uh, that just opted in for your welcome flow. It works like a clock, like a Rolex, or I don't know. I'm not, um, I'm not a big, I'm not a big watch guy. So congruence, starting from paid media, top of funnel to the last email in your email sequence, the offer must match the one that they bite on, right? And as you can see, and I just showed you, right? I'm not gonna go back. Uh, they sign up for, I mean, paid media, f uh, Facebook ads, then your site, right? The the product page. So I'm actually gonna give you a little, I'm gonna go an extra mile here. I'm gonna give you the um, example from this uh, incredible dude that I found on internet. Um, I actually watched one of these podcasts with uh, Sarah Deacher rhymes with Peachy, and his, his name is uh, Nick Sharma. So this guy ha owns a couple brands. This guy's like a big, a big the DC guys. He owns his own, um, not NFTs. Come on, guys. When I was talking about NFTs here, come on. So he owns his, uh, I I suppose like a six brands. So if you go to his uh, Sharma Sharma brands, one brand that I really like is a uh, Judy. Ah, got it. So it's Judy. If you go to judy.com or sorry, .co, um, <coughs> we see that this is a good website. It's very optimized, you know, shop, guide, facts, uh, save how, save now, shop Judy preps. You see, it's it's a very, very, very optimized good emails. Now, it's not in Skaker. It's maybe like unrelated, but, uh, you know, don't be so black and white. Let's just like really appreciate the amount of work and the amount of copy and the amount of like understanding of DTC marketing of this website keyword the website this is the website and this is a really good website you know we see uh you know call to actions we see <laughs> duh <laughs> uh but we see you know like kind of like explain the whole part is the, the part of highlights we see the guys and you know kind of like getting people to that um really handling all the objections all the freaking you know there is a there's a social proof we appeal to families right so this is a way better uh you know way to kind of like personalize and like uh, kind of like a tailor you're marketing to there's a uh like literally specific like a custom uh chat right here there's a social links everything is on your point they even have a book this brand is perfect now if we go to um get judy.co which is a subdomain guess what this page is different from the uh, from the last uh from the one we just saw before there's a, a ornament here with uh if we're gonna zoom it up orphan favorites things 2020 there's a big authority here the product highlight the great offer not a fucking we're not split testing buttons for conversion. We're not split testing colors. We're split testing something more important than even copy. The offer, the offer, the essence of e-commerce that we split against the offer and the hundred bucks off for the kit is way perfect. We have a 50,000 host, uh, household prepared for Judy kits. We have a, uh, basically explaining the products. We uh, highlight, you know, we basically give people uh, maybe like two, two variations here. Not even variations. It's a, it's a, it's a it's a what is it? It's like a backpack, and there's a container here. The system, hundred bucks off. The great uh the great um offer here. Call to action, explaining the uh the offer itself. It's called heuristics. 
we understand, uh, you know, we, we again, create the social proof here. Uh, we know the ratings, uh, the compa comparison table, social, uh, sorry, authority here, social proof from the real customers in their names as well and you know of course maybe some opt-in for email and a great 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 call to action that's called the product page and that's what you need for your skin kit imagine uh if you can done it for uh for fresh right now imagine fresh done it for that specific bundle and as we have subdomains as i told you you can even put a exact match url and create that specific pop-up specifically for this url just already because you have that uh subdomain here that would work crazy and now compare your email marketing, I assume, where you just masterizing, you masterizing, when you like advertising some moisturizer on the, on the white uh, background. Guys, that's it. I hope after this video, you really like being sold on the idea that there's so, so, so much more to do with your uh, e-commerce kind of marketing stage by stage. Then you're just gonna put a like in this video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, maybe, you know, we can work in the future uh, on some projects like your Clavio growth. And again, uh, if you come to work with us, trust me, uh, rather trust us, we're going to take care of your email marketing so good and Facebook ads and your uh, product pages in your website, uh, conversion optimization, because we understand that e-commerce is a 360 approach. It's never ending cycle of like, of, of of you know of this whole like mechanism right this whole mechanism we understand that we would we we, we myself we are ourselves right we're not that black and white on things that you know oh my god we only focus on email that's the only like um, what i'm responsible for no that's e-commerce that's being too selfish to say like oh i'm only responsible for email marketing just because i'm an email marketing agency no that's not true and that's what most agencies do right they're just like hey i'm just acquiring copy on the fucking dock in a Google and you know, I just like send it to you and you're gonna like like make it your own, design it on your own. Come on guys, that's that's not how you do it. And so the product journey, right? Again, as I said, you need to draw out in Canvas your customer's entire journey going from that opted in customer to a buyer. In this case, our goal is to move people into the only one place uh, where your brand just gonna thrives on. It's the VIP customers. So who, have, who are VIP customers, as I said before? Most recent, so they buy recently. They buy a lot, so they buy frequently. And they spend a lot of money. So they just bought, they buy kind of often, like whenever they you know, put those promos, they buy right away. And most importantly, they buy a lot. And that's the perfect customers. Now, as I said, they're not gonna be majority of your brand, uh, majority of your list, but having that point, having that uh, Everest point as the as the as the number one goal, you can uh, like literally take your like as a, your, yourself as an entrepreneur, you can take that cognitive like uh, uh, weight off of your shoulders and like okay, finally I can, I can there's something to focus on in email marketing in Clavio, finally. The one goal that you're striving always, always for, you're always optimizing. Even when we, when we work with clients, we're always optimizing for this one thing. Uh, get you as many VIP customers, loyal customers, VVS customers, or whatever you want to call them, whatever you want to name them. Uh, that's the ultimate goal. As like you're, you're really the, you're, the whole point of your brand is to create those like loyal uh, family. If you have like, those like a true thousand fans of your brand. They will take care of your business till, like, I mean, for its all existence. Come on. Uh, as long as it exists, as long as, long as it, you know, uh, out there on the web, right? Because again, we're in e commerce. If you have a retail, uh, that's also cool too. But yeah, that's called the generational wealth. <laughs> You're going to, like, pass it out to your kids, and then your kids are going to pass out to, um, pass it out to, you know, their kids. And so, you know, that's how you grow the really the equity of the brand. And just, you know, this people gotta be like, that's, you don't need any equity, any investors. This, the people that you need to, the VIP customers of your brands. And the only way to do this is you do great things on uh, Facebook ads, right? I mean, forget about that. You do great things on paid media, front and funnel. You land people on the right websites 
or uh, highly optimized product pages and then you follow up with them and retain them for life with Klaviyo, SMS or chatbots, like whatever medium they choose, uh, whatever they're comfortable with. And then you try to move them to that VIP status and once they have VIP status, they are the true, one of the thousands of fans of your brand that will take care of your brand to the rest of the success. So guys, that was Daniel Lit. It was a quite a long video. water so anyway guys uh, if you're still watching till this point I have a good news for you not only have a like good <laughs> entrepreneurial attention spend but also that there is a high correlation between people who actually perfect clients for our agency and people who watch you know <laughs> an hour-long videos till the intro anyway I insist you to right now go to link down below to schedule a quick call with me now I mind you right away, there's gonna be some urges of this crazy desire that you actually, you know, found that that agency, that perfect agency, and you know, like you're just gonna like work with us. But uh, you know, if you're not in that position uh to take any other any like anybody on, right? Definitely subscribe to the channel. Please guys, subscribe to the channel because you know some people in the space told me that, you know, e marketing is gonna be enough, you're just gonna email your prospects, uh what they call it, nurture them. But I feel like the uh, YouTube is a better, way better place to uh, provide a lot of value for the brands like this, for the brands like yours, who's going to win in the space because uh, you found such a perfect channel. So I hope you appreciate this video. Please subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care of your skin.